Hey CBTS, how's it so good to be with you in this way? Listen, I'm taking some deep breaths because Holy Week has come and has passed through, shall we say, and we're on the other side. So this is crazy. Um, we had nearly a thousand, more than a thousand people uh, through this Holy Week. What a wonderful and beautiful thing to serve and love people. And so I'm just like now, I don't know, just a bit, you know, recovering from Holy Week and all that is that. But, you know, I grew up in a American Baptist tradition. Uh, my dad and my mom first came to this church plant that was an American Baptist church plant in downtown L.A. Across the street from MacArthur Park, they would meet at this shoe uh, store, and that's where they planted this church. Uh, yeah, you heard me. You heard me right. A shoe store. Um, anyways, I, we can talk about that some other time. But the point is, uh, I grew up in American Baptist, and then I became a Pentecostal. And around somewhere around 13 or 14 years old, my parents, um, we left this church in L.A. and we started attending a four square church. So I, for much of my teen years, I was a Pentecostal. Um, and so American Baptist Pentecostal. And all that to say is that I grew up in a setting where Easter was a one time thing. We would celebrate Easter on a specific date. But what I'm suggesting is that and, and what I'm now experiencing, not now, but really for the last 10 years or so, have been in settings where I understand that Easter is more than one day, but Easter is a season. And I said to you last Sunday that resurrection, resurrection in the simplest forms was liberation. Remember I said that? It was like women's liberation. It was, you know, uh, where, where we see queer and trans people thriving in this world, where we see, you know, people of color being uh, treated equally as others. So it's like resurrection is really this liberation story. And guess what? This Sunday is Easter 2.0. That's right. Easter 2.0. And, and, and in fact, it's going to be like three or four or five weeks. It's 50 days to be exact from Easter to Pentecost Sunday. So Easter is in the air, shall we say. It is flowing. It is moving. It is part of what we will experience for the next five weeks. And so I really um, want us to engage it, come be part of it. Uh, this particular Sunday is very beautiful because I want to invite specifically our children and teens, our students. And so parents, if you're listening today, we're having, uh, I'm going to be teaching something known as First Communion Classes. And it's going to be happening at 9 a.m. on April 7, 14, 21, and 28 for four weeks. And I, I want to invite all of our kids. It doesn't matter if your child is already communing or not. Uh, well, really what I would love to do as a pastor of the church is to pour into our children. Did you hear me? That's, that's really what I would love to do is to pour into our children. So if your child is, 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 is between the ages of like, you know, kindergarten and high school, I would love for them to come and participate in first communion classes. I have like curriculum. So there's books that are appropriate for each age group. Uh, they will learn more about communion. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's a beautiful thing that our kids can learn more about the bread and about the wine So, uh, or the cup, right? Uh, I want them to come and be part of this experience. So if you would please, parents, bring your children at 9 a.m. so that they could be with uh, Pastor Moses, with Pastor Mustache, right? Um, and, and I know uh, Minister Eric and and others will be helping us as well. So it'll be a really beautiful experience for us to be together. Bring them this Sunday. We start at 9 a.m. in uh, location is Hale Aloha, okay? So also secondly, what's happening on that same, this same Sunday is also a book club. And Minister Grace will be leading a book club, a Makan Alani. So right in the front next to Hale Aloha, there's a a room there that uh, we can use for us to teach. So if you parents want to come, bring your kids and then be part of that group or not. I mean, there's other options. You could go out and have breakfast. I don't know. Um, whatever it is, you can do that. It, that's also available for you. A couple of things left over to me to announce. Two major kind of events coming up. 
uh, April 21st will be known as Earth Day. It, it already is a holiday, right? So it's not a holiday, I'm sorry. It's a, it's a day that is uh, recognized, right? Uh, as a day that we take care of creation, that we intentionally do things to, um, to better our world. And in our church, we're going to have a specific and well thought out Earth Day Sunday liturgy. So if you are... Um, um, really interested in that we love to have you if there's someone you know who's into repairing the world right um taking care of our oceans and our and our um and our wildlife like this is that kind of experience where we get to match up god's uh love for the world you know for all the world right we also we often think it's just for like humanity god's love is for all creation so april 21st earth day and then second Welcome lunch on on April 28th after worship. So again, welcome lunch is an invitation for those who are newer to our congregation. If you have been visiting, if you've been checking out our church, if you have, um, I don't know, just some interest in knowing more about our council, some of our executive council will be there. Uh, our, our, our ministry team will be there, Grace and I and Eric and Mieko. You'll learn a little more about us and more about our mission and values and what we do here at Calvary by the Sea. We would love for you to consider joining us like officially. I know some of you come to worship often and are involved in many areas, but we would love for you to be part of our spiritual family. Like, like there's nothing like family, right? Like when you become family, it's like another level, right, of commitment to one another but also another level of just, I don't know, a, a sense of we're in this together, right? Like this thing that we're doing, um, that we're part of, this flow that is healing the world. Yeah, we get to be a part of that together. So if you would join me on uh, that's happening April 28th, there'll be a sign up sheet. You can sign up to be part of that. All right. Well, I think that's all I have for us right now. It is now a season of uh, resurrection, and we get to reflect more on that this Sunday um, as we also culminate our series. Our series, uh, Wandering Heart, will be uh, ending. So uh, we're excited about kind of culminating this series that's been going on for quite a while but um, if, you would love, uh, if you would like to come and be part of that, we, we would be excited to have you. Well, that's it, my friends. Take deep breaths today. Uh, know that you are loved. Know that you are good. And I hope to see you this Sunday. I hope to connect with you, to be uh, in community with you. Um, this is me <laughs> after a holy week uh, and try to come back to life, shall we say, after a... Uh, a couple of days of recovery, but um, but it is good. Uh, it is good, the work that we have done collectively. I want to thank publicly, like all of our volunteers that came for the Easter, uh, Flashlight Easter Egg Hunt. It was super amazing. I can't believe it. I think we had over 50 volunteers, which is so awesome, right, that, that we get to do this together. So I want to thank you for all of you who showed up and uh and supported and got us uh got us through that event um it is so good so much love to you god be with you may you take deep breaths may you be reminded that you're loved and whatever is in this world that is causing you i don't know just a lacking that you would know that the divine is making you whole. And sometimes things can get difficult and beyond. But in the midst of that, do not ever forget, do not ever forget that the creator, the one who was, who is, and who is to come, the sustainer, the redeemer, is with you. You're never alone. You never will be alone. Resurrection never runs out. Just remember that. All right. Blessings to you. Much love. Take care. Hope to see you around here in April. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.
Bye-bye.